Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to make mods for Baldscape 3. First you need a tool that can export the files from game so you can edit them and make mods. Files like characters in game and their armor or anything about them and about the game. For that we need this tool, LSLIB, you can download it from this website, which I provide a direct link to this page in the video description. Download the latest version like this. This is the downloaded file. Open it with Extractor and extract this packed folder inside it wherever you want, just like that. Now open this packed folder. Inside it, locate this convert app.x and open it. Double click on it. This is our tool, which we're going to use it for many things, but first we need to extract the game files so we can edit. For that, on this bar, select this option, Pack LSV Tools. Now here, in Extract Package, in Package Path, you need to locate the game files which contains the materials you need, the files you want to edit the armor or body or anything. Those files are located inside game installation directory inside data folder. This is mine and these are the files I'm talking about. But which one you need is little hard to find. What you can do here is pay attention to the file's name and the size. If it's few megabyte then it's nothing, but if it's gigabyte then it's something. Here we have a file called models, which is more than 8 gigabyte. This contains lots of files that they are relatable to models like character bodies, armor, head and hair. So I'm going to extract this. Now inside LSLIB tool, in package path, click on this. And now locate that file after you find it. Select it and open. Next in destination path, click on this again and locate the destination you want to export these files. Make sure you have at least 10 GB storage. Finally, select export package. It can take a few minutes, so be patient. After it's done, if you go to that directory, you can see the content and identify what did you export. Now, in order to edit them, we're going to use Blender. First, we need a Blender add-on in order to be able to import and export these files. First, download and install the Blender. Okay, this is the add-on. You can download it from here. I put the link to this page in the video description. This is the downloaded file, and this is Blender installation directory. Here, navigate to this path. Here is the location which you have the Blender add-ons. Now, open the downloaded uh, Blender add-on with an extractor, and drag and drop this folder here, just like that. Done. Run Blender. Go to Edit. Preferences. Now, in add-ons, find that add-on we just put inside this folder. It's this one, import, export, dust to bg3, Cluedo exporter. Check this mark, then click on this arrow to see more details. Down here in this option, divine path, select this, and locate the path we install, the LSLIB tool. If you remember, it was a folder called packed. Open it. And inside it, open this folder. Then find divine.x. Select it. Then click accept. Finally, use this option to save it. Okay, now you can close this. And if you go to the import and export, you can find that option, which we're going to use to import and export Baldur's Gate 3 files. It's this option. So let's do it. In File, select Import, then this option. Here, locate the file you want to import. It can be anything. 
For example, I import this file in this path. It's an armor model. Okay, there you have it. This is the file. Now we can edit this as we please. The mesh file include the armatures as well. This is the armature and this is the mesh file. Now you know how to import files inside Blender and edit them. Next, let's learn how to export them and install them as a mod. So after you edit your mesh file and it's ready to export, come to File and select Export. Then this option, BG3. Now in this window on this side, we have many export options, which we can change them, enable them, disable them if it's necessary. But I don't need to, not now. So I don't. Now down here in file name, we need to enter the original file name that we imported inside Belinda. Because we want to change that, right? So go to the directory of that file. It's on this path for me. And it's this file. Copy the name, just the name. And come here again, then paste it here. Make sure it's right. Finally, type a dot. Then type gr2. Okay. Now, just select the directory for file to export. Then export. Okay, this is the exported file. Now, we have to make this a pack file so we can install it as a mod. And if you want to see if the extracted file is cracked, you can use the software. Install it and just drag and drop the extracted file inside it and see how it looks. If it looks fine, then it's fine. Okay, let's make our pack file. First, we need to put the extracted file from Blender inside the some folders. This part is important. Make sure to do it right. What we need to do is make a new folder and call it whatever we want. For example, something like my mod. Now, we put our exported gr2 file inside this folder. Now, we need to make many other folders inside each other and name them different things. But what? First, find the directory of that file we edit, the original file that we imported inside Blender. It was this file, and this is the path. Now, what we need to do is make another path just like this. It starts with generated and ends with resources. Make those folders inside the one we put our gr2 file inside it. My mod folder. Okay. Let's do it. After you made them all one by one inside each other, it should look like this. Now, you need to put the gr2 file inside the last folder, which is resources. Okay, now we can make a pack file. Again, open our lslib, come to pack lsv tools. Now down here in create package in source path, select this and here locate the my mod folder, which you have the exported gr2 file inside it. Okay, this is it. Don't open the next folder, only open the first one. Then click select. Now in package path, select the folder you want to put this mod file inside it. So first let's make a new folder and call it whatever we want.
Now come here and name your mod. Give it a name like my mod. Then click open. As you can see after your file name here, it says dot pack. It should be like this. Finally click create package and done. Go to the location you exported the file. And as you can see, we have a pack file. Now you can install it as a mod. This is a mod file. For manual installation, simply put this file inside this folder on this path. Now let's run the game and see how it looks. Okay, let's go to character creation and choose the armor we edited. This was the armor and it changed as we edited. That's mostly it. Now you can edit any mesh file like this. For example, let me edit shadow heart hair mesh file as well. I am just going to delete some of it. Now we export it just like before. First, change the file name to its original name and do the same things again. Remember the path we made for our armor mod? This time we need to make another one for our hair file, which is so similar to our previous one, so I just make some simple changes on this one instead of making a new one. Ok, use the toolkit and make a pack file and install it. Now if you select shadow heart, you will see the difference. Well, now you can make mods like these which are simple and fun to make. But to make it more professional mods, like you have a model which you made it yourself or you download it from internet, or it belongs to some other game and it's an armor, well, a simple way to add that in game is to replace it with an armor that belongs to our game. For example, let's say you want to mix some armors together from Baldur's Gate and make a new armor. For that, first import the armor you wanted to change inside game. I import this one. Now, the second armor. I import this file. Okay, now we have both together. Let's edit them. Before editing them, you need to make some changes here. Because both of them have the same armature, these things. You have to delete one of them. You better delete the second one. Always keep the one that belongs to the armor you wanted to change inside game. Here, select the armature and right click. Then select unlink. Ok, as you can see the armature is gone and our model is changed position. But no worries, we can use these options here to fix it. If you are new to Blender and don't know how to edit, you better go watch some Blender guides on how to edit mesh files. I also have some that belongs to other games. If I want to include Blender guides, in all modding videos that I am going to make, it's going to be a waste of time, so I hope you understand. Alright, this is the armor I made by mixing them. Now, a few other things you need to know before exporting are these. First, make sure your second model is attached to armature. In order to do that, select your model by clicking on it, then hold the shift and select armature, then press Ctrl plus P. And here in armature deform, select this option, automatic weights. Done. To test it, select armature, 
and go to pause mode. Then use this option to see if it moves with armature. If so, then you did it right. Next thing is to select the mesh file which you deleted armature, which is this one. And here select this option. And as you can see, you have two armatures. Make sure to delete the previous one which you deleted. For me, it's this. After that, select all of these like this and press Ctrl plus A. Then select this option. Make sure to do this, it's important. Alright, the last thing you need to know about Baldur's Gate 3 files is this. Select the mesh file from here and down here, select this option. And look for Baldur's Gate 3 settings, this one. We have something called export order, which has number in front of it. All of the Baldur's Gate 3 mesh files has this. So if your new mesh file shares the same number as others, you have to change it. The mesh files should not have the same number uh, of export order. You can simply select this and type a new number. And they should be in order. If the first one is 1, the second one should be 2, and the third one 3, then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, until the last one. If you don't fix this, you can't export them, it's going to give you an error. And only do this when you want to make changes, like I did right now, mixing the armors. And you should also know, by changing this, you also change the textures, textures inside game that belongs to this mesh, that belongs to this armor, it's going to look weird. But it's necessary, we have to do this. Then we have to edit the textures to fix it. You can export them just like these files. This time select the texture file, then export it, unpack it, and now you can edit them with Photoshop. They are DDS file, you can edit them with any texture editor. But for this video it's enough, I will make a part 2 for that and explain further. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.